Hey there everybody and uh, welcome back to Dave Brooks Artist Development and the TheVocalTeacher.com. Um, I want to talk uh, today about um, picking the right coach. For, for This is all uh, under the category of new singers, beginning singers. Uh, a lot of things that uh, you, you deserve to know before starting your technical journey or as you're beginning it. Uh, I talked earlier about uh, you know, uh, all the components, you know, breathing and chord alignment and a lot of other critical aspects that as a new singer you're going to want to really pay attention to um, in my last uh, uh, video blog. But this video blog is about picking the right coach, which is uh, very important, very important. Um, the number one thing, I think, is n not in any order, but but... But very important. All these are, are equally important. You want to pick a coach who has a lot of experience and a really good track record. Someone who uh, you can go online, look at their testimonials, um, you know, see who they've coached, how long have they been coaching, what accolades or awards they have garnered, and uh, <coughs> uh, really important to pick someone who has been doing this a while and is very passionate about it and has a great track record and is in good standing uh, in the vocal community. Very, very important. So take your time. Uh, look this up. It's like anything else. You just want to make sure you find someone who absolutely knows what they're talking about and has had a lot of years to back that up. So number two, the style of coaching. And yes, there is a style of coaching. Not in terms of just how someone dis disseminates the information or the gait of their verbiage. I'm talking about what kind of coaching are they uh, facilitating in, their, in the sessions with you. If you're a commercial singer and you're going to someone whose clientele roster is basically made up of classically trained and Broadway singers, uh, maybe you should reevaluate the nature of your relationship with that coach and uh, maybe find somebody else. You don't want to go to a coach who primarily deals with um, scales that they teach that are of a classical nature, meaning that they're, uh, it's all about the breathing and it, the, the tones that you're making are more throaty and they're up st more straight up and down rather than mask singing. Um, nothing wrong with classically trained coaches. Uh, I've taken from them. I've actually been a classical singer when I graduated from, from high school into college. I have a profound respect for the arts, um, Broadway and opera. But if you're a commercial singer, you deserve to be looking for a coach whose clientele roster is made up of commercial singers, meaning uh, pop, pop R&B, R&B soul, hip-hop, uh, rock, uh, country, pop country, all of these folk, uh, all of these um, uh, uh, alternative music, all of these popular forms of, of pop music are... Uh, you know, very important to, 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 to pay attention to when you're looking for a coach. So make sure that the coach that you're looking for absolutely has a clientele roster that is made up of the genre or has the genre in it, uh, you know, based on, their, on, their, on, their, on the clients that they, they teach every week. So very important style of coaching, very important. Number three, you want a coach that covers all three aspects of a balanced voice. I've talked about that before. Uh, it's breathing, good diaphragmatic breathing. Then you have your chord alignment with through the use of the pout, mm, 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 and then that stable larynx. You want to find a coach who absolutely has knowledge of these three components and will be more than happy to coach you uh, accordingly. Number four, personality fit. So important. You want to get along with your coach. You want to be able to relate to them, have respect for them. If there is a, a, a personality clash or a communications uh, gap or a breakdown, Man, you're wasting your time and your money. I don't care how good they are. It doesn't matter how good they are. If they're not getting through to you, it's not going to help. So you want to make sure that you have a personality fit. It's good. You feel comfortable in their presence. And uh, you guys are communicating well together. And, and there's a mutual respect. Number five, you want to find a coach who's pro-you active. Pro-you active. Meaning that they're going to make you sound like the best vocal version of yourself not like them. The, the greatest accolade a coach is ever going to receive and, and the greatest measure of, of, of a, a qualified coach is not how well the coach sings, but how well you sing. 
So make sure you find a coach that is not simply making you into a, another version of themselves. And there, and I'm telling you right now, there are a lot of coaches out there that may not even know they're doing that, that, that are doing that. It's not about how they sing, it's about how you sing. So find a coach that's pro-you, active, understands who you are as a vocalist and carries on uh, uh, with that. Number six, critical, critical, critical. Find a coach who explains things. What are we doing? Why am I doing what I'm doing? What is this called? Terminology, which I'll go over in another uh, <coughs> excuse me, blog post. But under, make sure you find a coach that sits down with you and actually tells you, okay, this is what you're doing. Here's why I'm having you do this, and this is the benefit of, of, uh, of what I'm having you do. This is what, what you're going to gain from doing this particular exercise. Make sure you don't walk into a room and have a coach simply just start running different scales. And you're like going, well, okay, um, if, if the coach doesn't stop to explain to you this is why we're doing this, what possible good is going to come from that session? You, you, as a client, you're paying good money, deserve to know why you're doing what you're doing and what the benefit of that is. So, let's go back over this. Picking the right coach. Number one, experience and track record. Number two, the style of coaching. Make sure that they're catering to your genre of music in their scales because son, there are sonic presuppositions and physical muscular presuppositions based on the scales and the format they're using. You want to make sure mass singing, commercial singing, pick the right style of coach for you in terms of the genre. Number three, a coach that covers all three aspects of a balanced voice. The, the breathing, the chord aligning, and the uh, uh, balanced or, or neutral larynx. Number four, make sure you get along with your coach. Good personality fit. Number five, make sure you find a coach that's pro-you active. Make sure that they have your best interests in mind and they are making you out to be the best vocal version of yourself not having you live vicariously through them. Number six, obviously you want a coach that explains things to you. Well, what am I doing? What's this called? Why am I doing it? And what is the benefit? This is critical when you're picking the right coach for you.